So, I'm a uh, I'm really into succulents and house plants and stuff. The, uh, excuse the lighting; it's not it's it's not the best. But um, I got I just got these. There's this one is um, agave Victoria Regina compacta. I completely probably said that wrong, but I'm tired. But and this, this didn't have a tag on it, but it's a type of, it's an aloe hybrid. The leaves, it's hard to see, but they're almost brownish. And really textured, it's incredible. Like, I've never seen anything like it, but it has a flower stock on it. The flowers haven't opened yet, but I'm excited to see what they look like. Um, I know that the, this agave, is hardy to about 10 degrees Fahrenheit and where I live it's plenty warm I could probably plant this outside in some fast draining soil raised um, a lot of times we'll take river rocks and create a circular area or whatever a design and then put depending on how much drainage the succulent needs I've done it in straight pumice um, but and the interesting part I'm really obsessed with this because I've done a lot of looking into agaves. Some don't pup, like they're not supposed to. This is a species that's not supposed to. And um, there's pups on the sides. <clears throat> I mean, I think on this plant there's like three or four. Um, which is kind of interesting. I'm not sure if they're, they're going to be clones or what, but the fact that they're not supposed to do this, it makes it kind of unique. Where I bought it, they had more that they were just singles, and I was like, nope, I'm going to get this one. Um, <clears throat> I have actually that happening a lot with, um, I got also a, an agave blue flame. I think it's called blue glow, blue flame. One of the two, I know they're completely different, but I know at least one of them is not supposed to clump at all. It's really pretty. Um, but it, I think it's blue, that's the right name, but it's not supposed to clump, it's supposed to remain single, it's a hybrid, but it has a pup on the side of it, and I have no idea if it's going to be a clone or not. <clears throat> I've emailed with Deborah Lee Baldwin, the queen of succulents, she has a channel, she's fantastic, but the reason I'm saying I'm not sure if it would be clones is because what she was kind of mentioning was... genetic thing that went backwards, like it went back, I don't remember if I actually explained it, but basically they may not be completely cloned, they may be slightly different. Um, <coughs> but I'm excited to see how it does. They're still in the pots that I got them in only because I haven't gotten around to putting them in something else. But, um, I also got this, um, Spurge today. It's really pretty. I got it for my work. Um, the variety is um, Tasmanian Tiger. This camera's focus isn't the best, but that says on the bottom Tasmanian Tiger. But um, Hardy to Zone 5 is, I think that's what these are because. Well, this one's 7 through 9, so that's kind of wrong, but I have others that are similar, like Escot Rainbow, different color, but it's also variegated and it flowers. Hardy to Zone 5, marginally, so in a more sheltered area in Zone 5, they can grow, but really pretty. Probably put it outside, very drought tolerant. Um, and then... Uh, over here, I have a pineapple top, and but the, all those little ones are actually I have placed in between the leaves. I have five air plants, and sorry about the lighting, but actually I can probably turn this on. Uh, I don't know if that helped very much. Yeah, it does. But this pineapple top was from a fruit, 
and you can grow them. There's articles upon articles, and one of the most important things is once you remove the top, you peel some of the lower leaves back, and there's actually they're called primordial roots, and they're dormant and they're waiting to root. But once you put those back and have it prepped, you let the let it sit exposed, just laying around the top, just for like I did it for three days. It's one of the most important pieces. I thought that it wasn't, and I was losing almost every one to rot. But after I did that, I got it to root. And none of the original leaves that were on the top exist. They're all gone. They've been removed. And all these are new. They'll get bigger, but... Um, and eventually, actually, it can produce another pineapple on top of it. So it's, it's kind of cool that you can do that. And we'll see what happens with it. Um, and that's where I'm going to cut it for tonight.